How's it going guys? In this tutorial I wanted to demonstrate how you can load and save data in Python utilizing the open function, as well as a couple good use cases for implementing it into your programs. Now in order to read and write data to a file in Python, you need to open the file first. This can be done simply with the open function. Now this function takes two parameters. The first one is a string of the path of the file that you want to open. If you don't know what a path is, it's like the address of the file that tells the computer where it can find it. Now it takes two different types of path. The absolute path, which is exactly where it is within the file, and the relative path, which means that if the text file or the file that you're trying to open is within the same folder as your Python file, all you need to do is type the name. In this case, I have a file named pool.txt that's within the same folder as my Python file. So I'm going to simply type pool.txt, although I could also include the absolute path if I wanted to. The second parameter is the actual function that I want to use when I open the fun when I open the file. Now there are a couple different things I can do. I can read from the file, write, create, or append. To start with, I'm going to show reading, although I can get back to the other functions later. In order to select your, your option, you need to put the abbreviation of the function that you're trying to perform. In this case, it's R. Now, if I run this right now, nothing's going to happen. I mean, it opened the file, but it's not actually loading that file into memory. In order to load this into memory, you need to utilize the method the open function using dot read. What this will do is take what's within the file and store it as a string. Now, we need to actually put this on the screen. If we ran this again, still nothing's going to happen. It's storing it to memory, but it needs to be printed to the screen. So I need to type print and wrap it around that way, or I can assign this function to a variable so text is equal to this, and then simply print text. As you can see, it printed the contents of the file. I love going to the pool only in the summertime. Now, here's a good opportunity to point out a property of Python in general, not just the open function, is that if we assign this variable solely to opening the function, then we can call text separately and utilize the methods from there. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if we want to use multiple methods, such as read or read lines or readable, then we don't have to retype open pool.txt.r every single time. We simply have it assigned to this, and then we can add that later when we need it. Now, what does read lines do? Another useful feature, read lines will take the data inside of the file and where there's every new line, it'll store it as a list, or as an element in a list. So if we run this, it'll create a list where each new line takes up an element in the list, including empty lines with nothing but an enter. Similar to reading, we're able to write. And similarly, we're able to use the dot write method. Now, this function, this method does take a parameter, and this is what you actually want to write. So if you want to say, I hate the pool, and we run this, well, we're going to take this function and write, I hate the pool into it, even if it's assigned to this variable. Similar to writing, we can utilize a list, let's say different places you can swim at, the pool, ocean, or a lake. And we can write this each item in this list to the function or to the file using the write lines command. So it's the reverse of read lines. And this also takes a parameter. It takes the name of the list that we established prior. 
DigitalOcean Lake. Now you might be thinking, I don't need to overwrite my file every time I write to it. And that's the exact use case of the append functionality. Now this does it's the exact same function as being able to write, except instead of completely overwriting a file, it'll add to it. Finally, if you want to create a file, you type x. And what that'll do is it will try to create the file pool.txt or whatever you put inside of here. And if it already exists, it'll return with a file exists error. If you want to read and write, what you can do is add a plus to the R functionality. And now you have the ability to read and to write. In a similar vein, if we use W plus, we're able to write to a file or create it if it doesn't exist, similarly with a pen. Now, let's think of some use cases for this. Although there are many reasons you want to save and load data from a file, one use case in an everyday program could be to store user data so it doesn't need to be inputted every single time. Say you have a program where it asks for a user's name. Well, if you don't want to get that variable every single time you run the program, you can store it into a file and then load it up later. Now, this would be better in an actual use case with something like a CSV file, but for an example, I'd like to display it here. So we can establish our variable text as open, and then again, pool.txt. And in this case, we need to read and write. So we're going to say R plus. And we're not going to do anything to it yet because we're going to do that later. And in fact, I'm going to come in here and erase this. The next thing we need to do is establish if there's a name. So we can instantiate, meaning to create a variable called name and assign it to this function text with the method read. And as we stated previously, this is going to take the contents of the file and store it as a string. Now, we can print the name to see if it works. And if it works properly, nothing will be printed. Yes, an empty string was printed. The next thing we need to do is test if the name is an empty string or if it exists. If the name is an empty string represented by these quotes with nothing within them, then we can get the user's input for their name and store it into the file. So we can call the user input user and make it equal to the input function. Inside of here, I'm adding the prompt that we're going to print onto the screen before the user inputs what they want their name to be. After we get the user input, we want to write it to the text file by using text.write. Remember, text is assigned to this function to open pool.txt up here. You always need to open. And in this case, what we want to write is the string of the variable user. Finally, in order to save the written file, and because we're not using it later in this um, example, we can close it. We can use text, which is equal to opening this, dot close. What this does is if you write to a file, it'll save it. And it's also a good practice to get into. All right, so now we've established what we want to do if there is no name in the file. But what if there is a name in the file? Well, we want the program to greet them. In this case, it'll say, it'll print, hello, and then the name. Remember, we established the name prior, which is equal to the content in the file. So if we save this and we run it, there's nothing in the file. So it's going to ask me for my name. In this case, 
and say little bean robot. And the file will end, or the program will end. Now, if we run this again with the name saved, it'll say hello, little bean the boss. So, this is one example on how you can load and save data inside of Python utilizing the open functionality. If there's anything I could have touched on, feel free to leave a comment. And if there's anything else you want to see, feel free to leave a comment. All right. Have a good one. Bye.